don't win, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. <laughs> Yahoo! It'll be fun, guys. <laughs> this is Tower to Charlie Charlie 140. Permission to land is again denied. Proceed to Barry Simon. Not the bullshit, Frank. This is Charlie Charlie crap. I got customers up here. I'm running out of gas. And I'm getting sunstroke up here. Barry Max Airport's closed. President Zalabox here. No one gets permission to land. Screw this, I gotta take a leak. <laughs> Sure, Budia Burakin. Sorry, the embassy. Good time, gents? Yeah, yeah, yeah great. great. Some adventure. Back. Okay, boys. Okay, guys, come on, get together. Come on, come on. Smile, smile. Show those shirts. Need all the help I can get. All right. Cute. What a successful expedition. Max, we have uncovered even more than before. Someday the world will believe this legend. You know what's, you know what's incredible? What's incredible is you each found one of these things, you know? I've been doing this for five fucking years, and I ain't never found a one. Not a one. You know what they say? You can find one of those babies, you're potent as hell. I mean, potent as hell. Hey. It's been a pleasure, all right? Hey. <laughs> I tell you what, I better find though. It's fucking toilet, you know. Thanks, man. Well, take it easy. Managed to organize a schedule yet? Oh, uh, uh, yes. Um, there will be drinks in uh, there in uh, 20 minutes. And uh, pictures. And what about the dam? Oh, 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 uh, yes. Uh, you're going out the dam to uh, 
Yes, cut the ribbon. Are you sure the car will be waiting for us this time? Oh, oh yes, there, there won't be any problem this time, Mrs. Ashmore, I promise you. Uh, in 17 short hours, we should be in Washington. If I lived that long, I should have stopped eating three countries ago. Excuse me. Mrs. Ashmore, we meet again. So we do, Mr. Bradley. Your keen powers of observation must serve you well here. Indeed they do. If your country did a little more for these poor souls, I could have a pleasure of observing you much more often. I don't think that's a necessary discussion. Everything is ready for the president. Thank you, my people. Mr. Dublin, DJ Davis, KBMX News. Could you explain Russian presence here in Africa? Soviet Union is interested in welfare of all African nations. Isn't it true that the real issue is Soviet expansion? As I have stated before, we are ready to move ahead with this four-point program, subject, of course, to the approval of the president. Working in conjunction with General Katso, the president's chief of security and military advisor, we will secure the regions that show signs of banded activity. By gaining support, Mr. Brovnik, the president will see you after the ceremony. Thank you, General. Excuse me. Thank you. Terebans will grow as a strong nation, free from the meddling interference of the superpowers. We will owe no one. Long live Terebanzi! This is Ashmore. We meet again. Excuse me? We meet again. Max Macklin. Max Macklin. Glad to meet you again. Mr. Macklin, I don't believe we've ever met. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. This is bullshit. But I tell you what, you know, beautiful women around here, I mean this, beautiful women around here are like fucking hairs on a frog. They may exist. Nobody's ever seen one with a naked eye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's like, I'll tell you what. Oh, I'm through. Would you please leave me alone? I'm through. I... This lunch is out of the question. Come, Mr. President.
to leave me alone. Wait a minute. Hey, hey! You can stick his report. That couple just killed your president. Catch him. Boom! Assassin has escaped. Not very good sign for your tenure, Mr. President. You may, however, benefit from your ineptitude. Hunt down this man. Deliver his head. You'll become a national hero. I am a national hero. We'll see. That's bad. Got plenty of holes. Yeah, well, Zellenbach's got lots more. We got our own problems. I know how terrible it was. We almost expect these things to happen. He was a warrior. He's in a better place now. Oh, come on. That's our belief. Your reality is not the whole world. We panicked. The American embassy would have cleared things up. Of course we panicked. Jesus Christ. Look, we'd be a lot better off on the other side of the border. Fine, then we'll just call a consulate from the airport and they'll take care of the rest. We haven't got enough guests to take us to the border. Well, then, can we land near the border? <laughs> well, 
I've always wondered how low this fuel gauge would go before we ran out. Come on, leave it. Let's go. Come on. Hurry up. This is to me for so long, I forgot I had them. It's the only uh, thing I can do. Thanks. Why don't you make a bigger one? There's plenty of wood around here. The fire well, can't be too big. We'll be seen. You could at least find us some food or something instead of just sitting there. Well, I think I'll just run down to McDonald's, pick us up a couple of Big Macs. How's that? Spare the sarcasm. Don't you know anything about survival techniques? Lady, I'm a tour guide, not a fucking boy scout. Well, I'm a survivor. Well, good for you. Well, I intend to get out of here. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to join me in one of the most time-tested fucking survival techniques practiced by hunters and trackers and uh, guys like that. You're a drunk. I don't like that word. This explains a lot. You don't know what the fuck it explains. <laughs> Jesus. You are one humorless broad. Here, this will keep you warm. <laughs> Unfortunately, almost harmless. Obviously not harmless. You're a stupid, crude drunk. 
rude. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, that's, that's perfect. The all-purpose expedite. I suppose it saves wear and tear on the rest of your limited vocabulary. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Macklin. It's your fucking fault we're stuck in this freezing desert. My fault? What are you nuts? Why, why didn't I leave her at the airport? Why didn't you leave me alone at the airport? You had to come sniffing around with a, with a proposition that had all the appeal of a mangy dog trying to hump my ankle. You should be so lucky. You ignore all my accusers. You won't go away, so I'm the one that's forced to go. And then do you leave me alone? No. You follow me out of the room and right into the middle of a murder. They weren't shooting at me. Oh, the fuck they weren't. You're too modest. Deep ship, pal. I've got faith. Did you break out the radio, see if we made the news. for a senator's wife. The identity of the assassin has been confirmed by an eyewitness to the event as a Mr. Maxwell Macklin, also of the United States. At present operating as a smuggler and art thief, his motive would seem to have formed years ago, when, as a thrice-failed author, his novel Quiet Thunder is now seen to have had some rather bizarre political overturns. What? Quiet Thunder, published oh, exactly it's three a fucking years ago, is now out of print. Macklin's accomplice, the Mr. Tushu's Chamoya, is a known political dissident whose antagonistic view of the former government is well documented. Meanwhile, in Washington, Senator Ashmore is going to depart for Africa, where he will mount a third party to look for his wife. What the hell are you laughing about, anyway? You can't get your name right. <laughs> Max, like my papa always said, if you haven't got faith, You've got to have humor. I've got both. Great. I tell you what, a little uh, honest to goodness anger would do you a lot better, okay? I got faith, all right. Oh, yeah, I got faith. You've got the wrong faith. Bullshit. I mean, it's 300 miles to Edwards Falls. We got about as much chance as a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. 300 miles to where? The border. Edward Falls. We can't walk 300 miles before they find us. Oh, you got a better idea, Mrs. Roosevelt? No fucking wonder you think you can fix this mess. <laughs> You better wake up and smell the rhino shit, sweetheart. We're not going to beat them to the border by foot. We might. Tell her. We might.
Rise and shine, Mrs. Roosevelt. Hello. Jesus Christ. She's only fooling herself. Yeah, fuck it. Let the jackals have her. We can't do that. She's the only one who knows we didn't do this. Max, if we let her be eaten by the jackals... I know, I know. We're on the hook for the whole parade. Shit! I'll tell you what we better do. We better haul our ass for the border. We can save her life. Who's ours? I didn't think so. Are we talking faith here?
body. I know I got him. Right. Outrun a jeep? We've got to hide. Shut up. Jeeps can't climb. Come on. How do you plan on steering this thing? Watch. Come 
Flash! Flash! Almost, 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 almost! Okay, get out, get out, get out! Get out, get out! Okay, baby, here we go! Please, I, I can't go in there. I'm sorry. Um, it's not multiple choice. What is that thing? Trinkets for tourists. What's it supposed to mean? It's part of the legend. God, I would love a hamburger. French fries. Onion rings. So what is the legend? It's all bullshit. 
two days told me about it. There's this tribe, Invisible Spears. Two days always maintained his father was from this tribe. Anyway, these dumb shits, they would appear whenever necessary and uh, sacrifice themselves for a non-believer. Why? I don't know. Something about one believer was worth more than a hundred spears. That's wonderful and very touching, right? Actually, yes. Yeah. I thought so, too. We built a business out of it. Tourists really ate it up. You know, everybody wants to believe in more. Snakes in here? Nah. I'm exhausted. Yeah. <clears throat> Good night. Good night. Don't let the bed go, right? Yeah, I'm over here. What have you got? How hungry are you? <laughs> you want a sensible answer? I could eat anything. First time I was in the Peace Corps. <clears throat> when I got here, <clears throat> Cried for days. Why? Shit scared. Now I cry every time I leave. Oh! Oh. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you don't have to carry me yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Like shit. You know, sometimes I, uh, I drink too much and, uh, I, uh... Do you know why? I'd rather not. Anyway, you're a great lady, and uh, I'm sure the senator's a hell of a guy. <laughs> we'll get out of this. I promise. I'm sorry. God, I need a drink. supposed to be any.
Where is the white cup? Where is the white couple? Probably poachers. I've got a jeep. Let's talk him into a ride. Ah, shit. What are you, afraid? You bet your ass I'm afraid. They got guns. Come on, we can't just... Hey. We ain't doing shit, okay? I can run a whole hell of a lot faster without you. Just wait here. No business sense whatsoever. Jekyll for good business. Haiti, Philippines, Jekyll. And somebody got rich. Uh, excuse me. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on there now. No! 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 Don't you dare shoot him, you son of a bitch. I'm the wife of a United States senator. Hey, that's them. He shot the president. And he kidnapped her. Now, what is this? It's a lie. We're looking at a 50 grand reward here. They're making it up. It's a lie. 50 big ones, Paul. Come on, let's take them in. Hey, wait a minute. It's worth a whole hell of a lot more if you get us across the border. Oh, that's bullshit. Come on, let's turn them in. Look, shithead, you think I shot that son of a bitch for free? I got money waiting on the other side of the border. You in this together? Yeah. I don't like this. Look. 100 grand. 100 grand. Just take us across. Hey, man, I ain't turning anybody in, okay? It is bad fucking karma. Besides, 100's better. That's bull. You take the sure thing. Will you put the gun down? Please. We need a ride. Are you gonna drive all night for them? No. For 100 grand. Son of a bitch. All right, we'll do it your way. I'm gonna call Turner. Go on to think we ran out on him. about a half mile up. You got any cash? Yeah, I've got a couple of bucks. What are you talking about? We gotta have a tank. Beyond here, there ain't any more. If we don't fill up here, we don't make the border. asshole up, okay? Hey, give me a pack of cigarettes. Forget it. Come on. I'll go with you. Half a job, Lieutenant. Half a job. He won't escape. Good. Your country demands his body. Just do what I say. <laughs> Take her. Asamun!
I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Ashmore-Holtz. Listen to me. I'm the wife of a United States Senator. And... I know, Mrs. Ashmore, I know. Don't think I'm not impressed. Then let me go. I don't think so. Russian diplomats do not hold people like me hostage. Are you that stupid? You're not a hostage, Mrs. Ashmore. At the end, I expect much more credit from you than that. End of what? <laughs> now, who's being stupid? You're playing a game? So am I. And you lost. I'm sorry. So where the hell do we go from here? Out of here with our reward money. Oh, man, you're dreaming. If they were gonna pay us, they'd have said something about it by now. Boy, did you fuck this up. Why didn't you tell me? If you'd listen to me, we'd be out of here by now. And we'd have the money. Maybe. Maybe he's a whole lot better in here. I don't trust the Russian. All right. These motherfuckers owe us. They let the guy go that that ain't our fault. I mean, they got half what they wanted. They owe us at least half. I mean, that's fair, ain't it? Well, then you get it, because I want out. All right. I'll be back. Be ready to go. It's a matter of time before we pick him up. Fine, fine. Just make sure. It looks as she was killed when he dumped his rover. Not by some indigenous idiot. We've got several other concerns that have to come in. What is it? Sorry to bother you. I was just wondering, you know, about the reward money, now that the woman's back. I thought the money was for the woman and her abductor. And we delivered. You got 50%. I want half the money. Money, money, money. You should be happy just to live here alive. Not standing in here asking for money. I'm going to have my dinner in peace. What the? Clean up this mess, will you? Take care of the other one.
I'm sending my special assassins after them. What the fuck are you doing? You know I lost 30 men? You know what I'm talking about? I lost 30 men. Do you understand what I'm talking about? 30 men I lost! What's the matter with you? What, are you a soldier or what? You listen to me. 
You better find them. I will. I'm gonna burn you alive. If you don't. Best chance is the Katuga region. I got a friend that lives down there. Just a couple of miles from the falls. These assholes catch you, it's not a pretty sight. Shut up. Well, then I put my head on the stake. I'm going back. You guys are on your own. What about the money? It ain't worth it. Nina, it's an elephant. Nina, come on, my chain.
Come on. Let's get out of here. Where is everybody? Come on, let's go. Aaron? You stay behind with your bodyguard as a rear guard. Right. Four of you, take the left flank. The rest of you come with me. Cover me.
Lieblings. I bet your ass it does.